Morning everybody, Mike Nemec here with some early morning grain and oilseed comments for Friday, September 4th. Well, winding up the first week of September, and it's kind of been a defensive week, just like the month of August. We've got wheat prices down around 10 to 15 cents on the week, corn down around 15, beans down a dime, meal down around three bucks, and the soybean oil market down around 100 points. We did see in the overnight trade the uh, wheat market make a, uh, another new contract low, but has since reversed and is around three higher right now. Corn market's around a penny better, bean market's around five cents better, meal market up a buck, and the soybean oil up around 10 points. So after a defensive week and a defensive month, we're going to see if we can try and maybe even up the uh, market a little bit for a couple of reasons. First off, in a few minutes, we're going to have a jobs report coming on out. We'll see what that does to the macro markets because that's been having a big influence on our markets here of late. The other market that's been having a big influence on our uh, trade here has also been China. China's been on a two-day holiday. They're going to come back on Monday when we're going to be closed. So we're looking at a three-day holiday, and we're going to see what China is going to be doing on that Monday to go affect our Monday night trade. And that, too, may be giving the market a little bit of people moving their positions to the sidelines here over the near term. So we got those two things after a defensive week, perhaps propping up prices here today. And then when we do come back, we're going to be looking at a USDA monthly report next Friday. And so that too may be generating a little bit of interest as far as maybe people moving to the sidelines with once again making new contract lows in the wheat and reversing and us being at our lows of the move for the corn and soybeans. Other than that, I'd have to assume that the weather is still somewhat conducive. We had a lot of crop uh, private guys come on out this week non-bullish type numbers that came on out. We're going to assume that the USDA is going to be non-bullish with their numbers as well next Friday. Once again, keeping the market somewhat well capped. And if we do get rallies, it's going to be more or less technical related. And then we're going to be working our way into harvest. And we'll see how much farmer selling we have to go and perhaps suppress those technical rallies. So once again, not a lot of new news. Trades a little bit short and on the week. And once again, with the jobs report, China coming back after the three-day holiday, traders may not want to get too extended with positions. Once again, these are my opinions, not that of ADM or ADMIS. Thank you.